So, um, in order to see how creative thinking skills online actually worked, and um, this is how it's done. Basically, it started from the module site, and I've placed these links there. But first, I'm going to show you how I log in into um, Classcraft. Now, Classcraft is the social engagement tool that I use, but it's in the form of a role-playing game. Now, Classcraft is very interesting. It's started off by a physics teacher in America, um, and he decided to create Classcraft to generate more interest. And what Classcraft does is it has um, levels of self upgrades and self development where each student will be able to earn points, experience points as they fulfill assignments and fulfill tasks in the class or assignments or projects which has been done outside of the classroom. Now this is very useful for blended learning because students be able to engage themselves independently and therefore motivated to, to earn these points because each of these points earns them all the different kinds of rewards like you can see health points, action points, experience points, gold pieces where these rewards allow them to upgrade their characters here. So they basically the students assume roles as fantasy characters like warriors. They choose to be different classes of individuals like um, mage, a warrior, or you can um, even have a healer. So a healer, what it does is a healer could heal their class, their group mates. Uh, a magician could come up with ways to find better solutions and things like that. So they have different kinds of powers, invisibility, teleportation, things like that. So the game mechanics here is based on a fantasy world but um, nothing changes in the class except that the lessons are still the same but the students earn these points and reward points in order to be able to upgrade themselves so as you can see that different students have different levels and if you can notice that everybody is different they have different levels of health points have different levels of experience points and gold pieces this also measures the amount of contribution the amount of um, initiative that they have put into the project and assignments because the more that they do in their projects and assignments the more reward they get then the, the better the upgrade. So this reflects on the amount of effort they put into. So Classcraft is a visual way to see how much they have put in uh, into their, their projects. And in class, before class starts, we have events like this that um, we play a game, you know, and students be able to download course documents, course outlines, this interactive aspect of Classcraft is very useful where, where they, whenever they download these, these documents, they get points for it, they get gold pieces for it, they get rewards for even downloading and reading it. So as they download course out, it, it does encourage them to download the documents. Um, so basically, this same, some of these documents are also in, in Times. But when we put this link into, into Times, they know that in Times they will be able to see the documents, but in Classcraft, if they download these documents, they get something in return immediately. And all these points are well recorded and analyzed in Classcraft itself, and some of these can be converted into actual scores. And these are the rub this is for example the rubric that, that guides them through this scoring system. So um, apart from course documents, you have guides, notes, and um, sketch uh, different kinds of uh, uh, requirements that they need in order to be able to move on into the module and be successful in the creative thinking skills module and 
many of the assignment um, workshop briefs assignment exercises um, are named in novel ways and there is the score table as well as you can see here um, where we can convert experience points into points actual points and these points are actually scores which is convertible to or add can be added on into any of the assignment points and at the end of the semester students will be able to have the opportunity to be able to boost their grades and therefore boost their, their team um, grades as well now students will be able to be picked randomly to even answer questions in class quizzes uh, short quizzes pop quizzes and grades can be also input into class craft and students who actually fall in battle get a little punishment as you can see these are special additional tasks for students yeah and it has a great sense of analytics as well you can see how students have progressed on into the um, into the course and some students don't you don't see a lot of activity some students have a lot of activity and um, so these these are a good way to analyze students sense of initiative so you can see that um, classcraft is very interesting because it it does appeal to uh, this age group because many of these students like gaming and um, classcraft is very good there is a, there's a free version and there's the premium version for classcraft and usually in the premium version you can have uh, a lot more interactive element in the classcraft game itself so all the rules in classcraft can be customizable and it's be easy to to add teams and import students um, reset their their emails password and it's it's pretty user friendly as well so uh, i find classcraft really rewarding as far as being able to monitor students um, initiative so students initiative here means students be able to access classcraft um, even when they're not in the classroom so so as they access these things on their own they they get to buy pets and uh, they know if they ran out of gold they ran out of uh, any points they know they have to fulfill additional quests side quests things like that and it, it does motivate them to do more ideation and um, if they make some inquiries to the game master which is myself the facilitator or the lecturer himself then the lecturer would be able to say well you got to fulfill the side quests then fulfill it well <laughs> so now where do you fulfill the side quest that's where you go CDS online so CDS online is uh, based on the open learning engine and this is where these are very well structured and uh, they will be able to respond to the brief on that site itself class graph is really about the gaming part but cds online you know it does connect to class craft where it tells you it allows them the opportunity to earn rewards by doing certain things in class craft but at the same time they see the instructions in open learning and responding to those instructions there as well so um, all the different activities in open learning uh, does allow them to to fulfill and submit work there it does not mean that they don't have to do that in times except that times can be used as a portal for CTS online CTS online is the online version of the C creative thinking skills module and in open learning it'd be easier to to have grades and to track submissions to track group submissions team submissions and things like that some things that that you could do this a little bit more efficiently in open learning compared to in times however time still act as a very important uh, portal where it does lead you to different kinds of uh, sites where it will support 
the teaching and learning processes of that particular module. As you can see, the submissions are in photograph form. Refresh rates are even uh, faster in open learning where you could be, you were able to see this uh, a lot easier and faster. And they have a much more flexible chat ability where students be able to, to post their comments, um, sc screen grabs of their journals, sketches, proposals, and um, even Queries as well. So some lessons um, is is easier to to also structure the the requirements of specific lecture sessions and the specific lessons per week, and of course I use social media to be able to to um, question them and to push them and to motivate them to access these sites. Social media here in this in this case act as a way to to motivate them to do this and, and you can see the, the it's quite diverse the the way and um, the, the possibilities for students to actually uh, post their their ideas So each of these um, activities are, um, have specific conditions and you don't have to sometimes mark everything here. Um, and what's good about open learning is as you put in marks here, um, if after marking it and, and, af and after a while you will be able to export your mark in um, all the points in CSV form. Students will be able to post video links and students will be able to to uh, do m many things. That because of the social engagement you can see the outcomes are a lot better. Students are more um, motivated to do something more different, more fun. Um, it does elicit more response and feedback because some putting something uh, YouTube and sharing additional information from different places like TED Talks or uh, you know and so on and so forth it, it does allow a greater amount of flexibility in terms of research in terms of uh, ideation and it's so easy to keep track of um, which group is very active and which group is not so active and open learning has um, a great amount of gallery to, to actually sift through all the other submissions and contributions by each group. As you can see, the gallery section is quite, quite fun to look at. And uh, as you can see, I'm going through here, looking at the different posters. And Yep, and you can actually uh, under the gallery section you can you can select from that pull down menu all the different kinds of submission as well because what gallery does is it consolidates all the different images together and uh, it, it's easy to look at specific thumbnails and zoom up on specific uh, specific submissions if you want to look at them a lot more closely. So it's very good int integration between um, open learning, CDS online, and Classcraft. And uh, going back to the times, let's see. All right, now this is the the actual module site. Now as I scroll up the module site, oh, okay, I've got to log in again. Now as I scroll down, you can see Classcraft uh, banner is on the module site itself stating the reason for what this is about and uh, of course the main cost documents are all there and there's Classcraft documents for CTS showing the specific rules, list of rules, customized rules and so on and so forth and some basics about educational simulations and um, 
eventually I, you would see um, CTS online banners there where you would um, it's linked directly to there where the students are by that time already registered into open learning upon my invitation and they can they have an option they can also um, read lectures or listen to the lecture in times or they can also go to if you want to respond immediately to the lessons they can go to CTS online and do so um, they can see samples uh, also on times see I could put um, many samples on times uh, sometimes not everything needs to be there so I would say Times is very useful, but I think Times would be very good as a portal to, to go to um, CTS online. And basically this sums up my um, video. Thank you very much.